I've been at Aramark for two years now. I come in in the morning, I, you know, do a little garnish, I'll put the labels out, keep the food coming, you know, going. Um, sometimes I might do salad bar, do the prep for the salad bar, um, pizza, we'll make the pizza up. Or the floor, I just clean tables, you know, make sure no one spills, replenish the coffee. On a daily basis, I'm a cashier. I come in, scan the kids in, um, check everything, make sure my supplies are up front, my water's filled up. Well, I come in, I, you know, set up, uh, you know, with all the stuff that we do, the sandwiches, you know, the fruit, I do the coffee, you know, help with other things around the dining hall too, which I, you know, I really like to, to help other people. So they will, we all, you know, go around and help each other as a team. My job in the dining hall, I am the residential director for dining services for all the residential students. My job is to take care of everyone. <laughs> I'm like the dad. Basically my job is to make sure that everyone is set up, uh, everybody's doing their job, um, there's enough food, everything looks good, the stations are merchandised, um, keep an eye on the floor, make sure the students, if they have any questions, I'm here to answer them. I've been going to school at Monmouth for two years now. My favorite part about the dining hall is the breakfast station, just because I can eat I eat breakfast for every, essentially every meal, and it's always there. I'm from Portugal. I came from 1987, and I worked for a different company for 19 years. And, and then the company went out of business, you know, it was because of the economy and stuff like that. And uh, so uh, in the meantime, I got the opportunity to fill an application over here and they called me. Two days later, I got this job and I'm pretty happy. I've been with Aramark 16 years. I was an executive chef for, um, in business dining, which is like office buildings. And I was the executive chef for eight years in the executive dining room for Summit Bank Corp. Outside of work, I'm a full-time mom. I had three children, um, two, two girls, one boy. Um, when I'm not here, I'm either doing football practice or cheerleading practice or taking them to the park, you know, shopping, laundry, stuff like that, cooking for them too as well. Because they'll say, well, you cook for them at school all day. Can you make me a grilled cheese, Ma? Yes, I'll make you a grilled cheese. Okay, when I leave here, right, and I go home, I pick my kids up from the mall, I'll drop them off. If I'm not in the mood to go home, I'll go hang out at a bar. I used to go to Brick Wall. They used to have live music down, well, DJ down there. I have to go down there and dance. And if I'm home, I play my music, I drink my wine and my beer, and I dance in my dino. Outside of the work, yeah, I enjoy to be with my family. You know, I got two girls. One is here in the school, too, as you know, and the other one is in elementary school, 11 year old. And I like to spend time with them, you know, and you know, go places with them. My days off, are, I really try to enjoy them. I like the garden, my house. I cook. I do cook too. You know, and I'm planning on going away this summer too, you know, enjoying the vacation. My son plays hockey. He plays high school hockey, he plays travel hockey. So we spend a lot of time traveling with that. I mean, we just came back from Canada. Um, we went, uh, you know, we go to Delaware and Penn. So, I mean, his hockey season, it starts in August and it ends in March. Up until I started working here, I had only missed one hockey game of his. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, I, I get to, I see 90% of them. There's the couple that I'm here on a Saturday that I don't get to see, but we make it up. And Taylor will be here for, she's here for restaurant night every, she's the hostess. She's the young lady who seats everyone. I have three kids. Then I have a granddaughter, that's, she's 21 months now. Well, she's a mess. She's like Chucky's sister. <laughs> yeah. She tears up everything. She breaks my stuff. She gets up on my bed and lays there like, you know, like it's her bed and look at TV. So I'm a coach too for cheerleading. So on Sunday, well, football time, I do coaching. Um, my hobbies, I like, you know, sitting on my porch, relaxing, planting. Um, I knit and crochet. Other than that, it's not enough time. I was in the day for myself. <laughs> yeah, I play golf, yard work, um, you know, work on the pool in the backyard. I think they're really friendly and they're always willing to like help people out if they need it. They're always really, really friendly no matter what time of night or day. 
and I feel like they always have the student's best interests at heart. My relationship with the kids I think is pretty good. You know, I greet them when they come and say good morning, good afternoon, um, ask them if they want anything, if they need anything, if they need help with anything. Um, sometimes they want personal things, you know, like personal dishes, I'll make it, but you know. I feel like as long as y'all happy, I'm happy. Just that they're going faster anyway, as long as you're busy. So I really like to interact with the students. Yes, you know, like to know their names, you know, and I pretty much get to know what they have in a daily basis when they come up to the line. I know exactly what they want. It's, you know, and it's, it's fun. Most of them are freshmen, so they're still warming up to me. And some of the kids I know that's been here for like their third year now. Actually going on four years now with some of the kids because they're getting ready to graduate. This one is, I believe, very respectable, you know. Um, we have, some of us have good relationships, others, you know, high and by some of the students, you know, say, well, how's your day going, how's the weather? You know, I tell them more if they ask us for dinner, you know, I find out for them. For the ones that have, like, food allergies, I pretty much know, so I'll, you know, tell them what they can eat, what they can have. If you have a good relationship, I would believe, though. I would say it's, it's very nice, you know, and, you know, I do have some students that even call me mama, like, <laughs> when they, uh, you know, they thank you mama, and, you know, I feel like I'm their mom sometimes, you know, because, you know, during this time, that's what we're here for, to serve you guys and, uh, you know, do our best. For the last four years, there's been real good kids here. They have manners, they don't like, you know, give me a hard time or anything. Like, some of the boys might mess with me and stuff, but that's it. But. You know, you, you get what you give. You give respect, you get respect. So, and that's the way I treat all the kids. You know, give them respect until they cross the line. A lot of them, you know, specifically want, you know, the same thing. So it's like, when I see them, I'm like, okay, I got you, I know what you want. I, if I see them coming from down the hallway, I'm from down the aisle, I'm like, okay, I got it on here, give me a couple of minutes. So they don't even have to order, because it's like, you know them, you see them every day. I would say, just talking to most of them, that's my favorite part, talking to most of them. They come in, I scan them, and you know, if they're in a bad mood and stuff, right? I'm like, no, what's the matter? And if I'm in a bad mood, they're like, we know something's wrong because you're not laughing and joking. And I go, you know, I'm bored, or either, you know, I'm ready to kill my family. <laughs> I got to learn a lot about the students, you know, like, you know what, what, what their personalities? Oh yeah, you know them, like, it's, you know. You got really nice students, you know, they really are appreciate what you do. And some of them, you know, it all depends what you see what if they went through a rough day or something. But for the most part, yes, everybody's nice. We all have different attitudes. But uh, yeah, you do learn a lot about the kids, you know, see how in a daily basis, like how do they, you know, what their life is, how, you know, like you see some kids that are Maybe like, in, maybe because of the classes or too hard or something, or their homework, or they're stressed out. But you know, they, they treat me pretty good. Yeah, but it's dealing with the kids. It's on a daily basis. You know, making sure they're happy. And then every once in a while, they actually tell me they're happy. You know, oh, everything. I had that the other day. It was so good. It's so nice to hear compliments as opposed to all the negativity because every, you know, anything you do. I mean, it's like we say too, go to your favorite restaurant seven days a week, two to three times a day for 16 weeks straight and tell me if you don't get sick of it. And you will. It all looks the same now. You know, at this time of the year, everything looks like we put the same exact food out every day. The sta some of the stations are the same every day, but I can honestly say we have guys back there that care, you know, and they want they want the students to be happy, you know, and they they do with what they can and they do a good job. So the people that work here, I feel like they're more they're kind of like a huge part of the Monmouth community, even though people don't really realize it, because they're the ones who are feeding us, and college students love food, so. Um, Especially like I know Joyce, she'll like tell me about her grandkids and stuff like that. And you just and just everyone you I kind of I see them as like I see them as people. I know they have lives outside of Mama. They're not here solely to put food on my plate. They're actual people and I feel like they're so underappreciated even though Mom Mammoth relies on them so much.